and he arrived once again. That doctrine will be set up this great academic community as a center for excellence in teaching, in research, and in service to humanity. Is what we have come to celebrate at this convocation today. This explains why I'm very passionate about the repositioning of this university as a leading citadel of learning in the country and as an arena for generating and harvesting of intellectual ideas and capacities that can help in the positive transformation of the state and the country in general. As we know, knowledge is power. Ideas create knowledge. And both ideas and knowledge jointly rule the world. This being so, we must put in everything at our pages to ensure that our own center for ideas generation, idea generation and knowledge creation, which is the most important, is among the best in the world. This position is predicated on the well known fact that he must be to remain one of the states in Nigeria with the highest number of applicants seeking admission to Nigerian University through the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board. And this happens every year. Obviously, this reality must have inspired past leaders of the state, especially. Sam Bakwe, established Imoto University in 1981. Also, Ivan and Warren did not hesitate to quickly relocate the university to the world following the creation of other State in 1991. And the learning, the learning of Imoto University of Kigwe to other State University. I strongly believe that the vision of these founding fathers of the university should not be allowed to die. To this end, the importance of Imo State University to redeem should not be in doubt. Imo State University is not only a place meant to cater for the university education needs of the teenage youths of Imo State and beyond, but also a place to generate the high level manpower required for capacity building and for the crucial development of our state. It is also a great source of pride for the entire Imo people as a first military citadel of higher learning. Consequently, the positioning the university to take its right of place in the committee of national and international universities is a major thrust in the agenda of my shared prosperity government. After studying the report, after studying the report of the Sustainable Visitation Panel to the University, my administration set out a clear plan of action for the position of the University. This saw us okay. going through a thorough style for student assessment and audit. This exercise brought to an end the inglorious era where, in the, where the University could not account for the accurate number of students and staff under this work. I'm happy to note that all the refined staff of the university now receive their salaries as a twenty. Also, I'm aware that the unpaid salary of February 2020, which was as a result of the mismanagement by the previous administration of the university, under our new cash management plan, to be paid by the end of March 2024. <laughs> Equally, <laughs> Equally, as recommended by the reconstituted University Council, made up of credible and experienced professionals. I approve the appointment of a new and vibrant management team led by a substantive vice chancellor, Professor Yu Yu Tukumayuko, senior advocate of Nigeria. He's a seasoned lawyer, 
académique, en administration. Je dis, pour être une université, to is a certain place as a world-class university. Let me use this occasion to enjoy the management, to continue to work hard, to instill the efficiency and all-round discipline that is required to move the university forward. As part of my decision to determine, therefore, as ensuring that the staff of the university are properly motivated, the promotion of all deserving members of staff is guaranteed. It is also in the immediate plan. It is also in the immediate plan of my administration to put in place all that is needed to view the research intensive university that prioritizes not only cutting edge issues and research, but also seeks solutions to the prevailing challenges of our state in particular and our country in general. I am convinced that the Muslim University can help provide the intellectual roadmap for the development-driven agenda of the state government, including our industrial policy and our quest for a digital economy. By seriously having to train creative minds who can in turn create opportunities for entrepreneurs, the university will also be helping the larger society to contain the ongoing crime wave in the industry. I'm happy that the political class, some of them who are here, should learn how to be committed to the current challenge of insecurity in our state. The insecurity in Imo State, which is politically contrived, is born out of malicious mind and the greed of some of Brazilian politicians. All over the world and in every society, Universities are vested with the responsibility of constantly gauging and monitoring the heartbeats of their immediate society so as to know how to direct all towards the noblest of this version and the innovative needs. This explains why societies look up to their academic institutions in moments of doubt, in moments of confusion, and in moments of crisis. The most state university or world must therefore be able at all times and in all circumstances to live up to this noble expectation of giving guidance, providing services, and offering effective and workable ideas that should lead our society towards the goals of our shared prosperity philosophy. The shared prosperity is the creed of this administration. And every government outlet must buy into it. And it is all about doing whatever we can for whatever we do to create the enabling environment for wealth creation and multiplication. Why the government is diligently doing its bit in this respect by providing infrastructure and empowerment. I expect all important institutions, such as this university to dutifully do its own deed of providing an effective center for the generation and fertilization of creative ideas and knowledge. As I always emphasize, even the government under my work considers education as a fundamental investment in our drive towards development. There is no limit to what our society can achieve through a properly structured a result-oriented education program. To this end, Imoster University must rise to the challenge and assume greater responsibility to move our state forward. On our part, my administration will do all that is needed to help the university to fulfill this novel expectation. Once again, I congratulate the graduates and their proud families. I urge all the graduates, all the graduates, to endeavor to be the shining stars of our generation. As this, they have to be ambassadors of this great institution. As ambassadors of this institution, you have the responsibility to give the light which has been enkindled in you, ever burning.
go forth and illuminate new paths for Nigeria. Illuminate new paths for Imo State. Illuminate new paths for Imo State University and for your respective families. Remember that Imo people are looking up to you to be good ambassadors. You must not fail me. I congratulate the awardees. You were selected based on your contributions to humanity. My administration will welcome any idea from you that will contribute to the further development of this great institution. At this point, it is my pleasure to announce that as part of my institution's resolve to encourage excellence in scholarship, our shared prosperity government will henceforth offer automatic employment to the best graduating students of the university each year. I'm also aware that in 2011 to 2012, academic year, that the Global Asylum was the best graduating student with women per square in 4.6 In 2012 to 2013, academic year, Chuku Victor was the best graduating student. In 2013 to 2014, Israel and Modesta was the best graduating student. In 2014 to 2015, Egono Adol B. Sinter was the best graduating student. In 2015 to 2016, Akujo Yugotuku Christian was the best graduating student. In 2016 to 2017, Azubike Tobosuku Okaoma was the best graduating student. In 2017 to 2018, Anastasia Chiamaka was the best graduating student. Unfortunately, for over eight years, this is the first time a convocation ceremony is being convoked. To that end, the offer of employment to best graduating students will be about to the year 2011 to 2012.